Whoa, what kind of Pokemon packs are these? You ever go into a store like Target or Walmart and randomly browse the trading card section near the cash registers? You know, that section that has Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic the Gathering, Upper Deck sports cards, Pokemon, and other knickknacks? But while browsing in there, have you ever noticed these non-Pokemon branded, generic looking blister packs that stand out from everything else? Well, I bought some of these today so you don't have to, and we're gonna figure out what the story is behind these blister packs and if they're even worth getting. And from the research I've done, these blister packs are distributed by a Des Moines, Iowa based company called The Fairfield Company. They don't have a website or anything, but on their Facebook, they claim to be the leading sports repackaging company in the industry with a focus on value-oriented products. And they really make sure to let you know on their packaging that they purchase these Pokemon cards and packs directly from the manufacturer or from the secondary market. And they repackage these things for retail sales. And because of the repackaging, they can sell these things at a lower price point. So you can buy these Pokemon cards cheaper than, let's say, this officially branded Pokemon Sword and Shield blister pack I have right here. And in my opinion, whenever a product claims to have value on their packaging, it usually doesn't. So will these valued repackaged blister packs give me the goods or give me garbage? Let's find out. All right, so I have the blister packs here. And as you see, I'm going to start off with this blister pack. This claims to have 20 cards plus one foil card and one online card, which I'm pretty sure is a code card. And I can already see that this is uh, not looking very good. Um, whatever this card is on top, there is already like some nicks and some scratches and just some all around damage on here. Uh, there are no sleeves in this pack and it's just straight cards in a blister pack. Um, so let's just open this anyway. It guarantees one foil card. So let's see what that one foil card is. I don't think a card trick needs to be applied to this because I feel like these were just randomly selected and randomly assorted so let's just start all right oh yeah and as you can see has all the Fairfield company on the back all the Fairfield company info on the back but yeah let's just uh let's open this generic looking awfully designed blister pack but who knows maybe there's treasure in here and yeah, my camera will shake a little bit because, uh, you know, my setup is still, a, I don't know. It's fine. Anyway, I'm going to assume this is a, oh, this, is this the rare card? No, this is a reverse hollow tentacool common. I'm not quite sure what set this is from, but, uh. This was uh, on the bottom of the stack, and uh, here's the code card they guarantee. Congratulations, you just got the uh, the code from this uh, cheap pack. And I'm assuming the the rare card is facing this way. Let's just see. I'm not sure. Nope. Oh, okay. So that wasn't the rare card. I'm actually quite relieved that wasn't the rare card. Um, yeah, not sure what set this is from either, but it's a random shelter up top. So I think that the rare card is probably right here. Could be. There's already some like nicks, like and some some scratching on here. Yeah, see. So. I don't know. If you want whatever rare card this is, uh, comment down below and let me know if you got anything good from these Fairfield um, packages. So yeah, let's just uh, go through all these cards and see what uh, what we get. 
I am glad I don't have to open a booster pack for this one because you know the trouble I have with uh, <laughs> with some of that. But I know uh, Toxicroak Gaming uh, gave me a tip in the last video. So um, I'm going to try to use that tip, Toxicroak. Uh, and also be sure to watch his channel. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below. Uh, yeah, Metalcore Barrier, uh, Chimchar. Yeah, these all look like they're all from different types of sets. Is this the rare? Nope. Chip Chip Ice Axe, Hitmonlee, Metapod. Whoa, these are all like out of whack. Some of these are upside down and some of these are, are okay, a-okay. Field Blower, Alolan Diglett. Oh, that one's cool. Thankfully, I don't have to, like, find all 150 of them, like, in the Sword and Shield expansion pack, if you're playing them right... Playing that right now. Dedene, Lightning Energy, Dark Energy, Psychic Energy, and... Oh, a Leaf Energy? Huh. Did I skip over a rare card? Where was that rare card at? Um, I'm going to go like go through these really quick because this pack guaranteed one foil card. And I'm starting to think that they guarantee you a foil card, but not a rare card. And that is looking like the case in this pack. Yeah, there is no rare in here. The so-called foil that's in this pack was this reverse hollow tentacle. Um, very disappointing, but that's okay. Um, hopefully you enjoy the code card that I gave out for free. Use that to your advantage. So now we're going to move on to this one. Uh, this blister pack guarantees two packs, two rares, and two bonus cards, whatever those bonus cards are. And yeah, as you can see on the back, you have the typical Fairfield valued information that they oh so push. But this one looks a little promising, a, a little better than the last pack that I opened, because you can at least see that looky look. There is an official Crimson Invasion booster pack right here. And this one is, I believe, yeah, this is a, an official Guardians Rising booster pack. So they guarantee two rares in this one this time, two of them. They're guaranteeing that. And they do guarantee two packs, which I do see here. There are official Pokemon booster packs here. And whatever those two bonus cards, I don't know what they'll be. Maybe they'll be awesome or maybe they'll be trash, but let's find out and, and uh, beat this blister pack down. Man, this packaging is so ugly. They got this design straight off of like a stock photo website or like, one of those free stock sites that let you download um, generic designs. It's like they just plastered that right on on, on the, the packaging. Hey, you know, I'm a graphic designer at Fairfield Company, so, you know, if you need better packaging, let me know. I can do it for you. But yeah, I'm going to do the Guardians Rising pack first. And, oh, looks like these bonus cards are... A regular rare cloister of some sort. Look at that. Headlock, guard press. This will do you well in the trading card game. And whoa, what is this? Oh, this is also a rare. Okay. It's a bonnet of uh, some sort. I'm not sure what set this is from. Is this real? Huh. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, it's real. It's real. But yeah, this is, uh, yeah, there you go. They had, they, 
but on this pack they guaranteed two rares plus two bonus cards so i'm guessing maybe these were the two rares maybe the two bonus cards are are on this side with the uh, crimson invasion pack but yeah we we do have an official sun and moon guardians rising booster pack so um we could do the card trick on this one and and maybe we got something cool so let let's check it out i'm gonna go through this thing uh quickly or i'm gonna i'm gonna do that uh that package opening trick that um toxic croak gaming told me about let's see if it works toxic croak Oh, it worked! <laughs> Thanks a lot, buddy, for the tip. But yeah, let's uh, let's open this up and uh, let's do the card trick. Oh, green backing. Here we go. One, two, three, four. All right. All right. We have a Pancham Reverse Hollow in our rare is Aww. swallow woo swallow woo very cool decent it'll serve you well in the tcg but it's not my kind of decent whatever it's fine let's move on to the next section of this side of this um fairfield pack and uh yeah you see the familiar face with the Crimson Invasion booster we have here? Oh, I messed that one up. Man, blister packs are the bane of my existence. I don't even know why they exist. They gotta make these things more easier to open. But I got it open. We have... The two extra cards and the Crimson Invasion pack. So the two extra cards are... Oh! Copperaja! This one's the Hollow Rare, okay. All right, look at that. Muscular Nose Dig Drain. Man, Muscular Nose takes out 20, 220 damage, 190 HP. Man, that is a strong steel type elephant. Wow. Okay, th this was decent. This wasn't bad. Um, there you go, Copperaja. Um, I think this one deserves a sleeve, so I'm gonna sleeve this up. Not bad for a Fairfield pack, Copperaja, and our other rare or bonus card is oh a reverse hollow reboot reboot flame charge magnum kick the evolved form of score bunny he's not quite his um soccer ball kicking self just yet but this one's all right I did get this uh, blister pack for about $10.99 at Target, so I'm not really expecting uh, anything really good. But we have a Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion uh, booster pack, so let's uh, let's get to it, man. Ah, yep, the card trick works, Toxic Croak. Thank you. Uh, card trick, package opening trick. But yeah, here we are. Oh, all right. That was a weird way of putting the code card in. All right. Let's go straight to the... Uh... All right. A rare card in this one Crimson Invasion booster pack is... Primate. <laughs> ah. Our good friend Primeape from the last video. He's made an encore appearance this time around. He's ready to low kick you. Luchified if you stare at him the wrong way. He'll um He'll do well if you actually play the card game. And 
There you have it. The only card worthwhile from this cheap Fairfield blister packs uh, was this Copperaja that you see here. The one and only star of the show. There were some honorable mentions, and those honorable mentions are this rare cloister from the Sun and Moon base set. He'll do some damage. Uh, Swallow from Guardians Rising. Our good friend Primeape from Crimson Invasion. Uh, this Bonnet from the 2015 set Roaring Skies. And of course, this Copperaja. I also forgot to mention this Copperaja is a promo card from the base set Sword and Shield set. And overall, eh, it was okay. It, was, it wasn't the best pulls, but again, star of the show. So that's what happens when you open Fairfield products. You get a jumbled mess of random stuff with some booster packs thrown in. And even then, the booster packs didn't even give me anything worthwhile. But hey, I could be wrong, and I'm willing to give this company another chance to redeem themselves. And most likely, I may be opening more of this stuff in the future. But as of now, for you parents out there, I wouldn't recommend getting these Fairfield products. If you want to get Pokemon cards for your children for their birthday, for Christmas, or whatever, I highly recommend you get the official Pokemon trading card game blister packs that have the logo on them. That's how you'll be able to tell. You can't miss these and your children's chances of getting something really good are really high. And with that being said, I'm getting hungry now and I'm about to get some Jack in the Box in a minute. But if you like what you saw, Please like, comment, and consider subscribing to my channel and following my various social media handles. But until next time, be ready for anything and everything, and I'll see you in the next video, Multifam. That one's going to be a banger. Stay tuned for that one. See you later.